All right, let me jump into some of the statistics and some quick information on both of these kits. So I got a Milwaukee 8 here. This is a stage four kit, the 114 cubic inch build. It bumps it up from a stock 107 to a 114. As the graph in the top right signifies, this kit has to be ridden at 4,000 or greater RPM to really get the max benefit out of the power. You can cruise it uh, at a lower RPM, 3,000 RPM to 4,000 RPM, and it runs just fine. You still got some decent power there. But if you're really looking to pour it on and get the max benefit out of this kit, this is a kit that likes to be run at over 4,000 RPM. So I always tell people, if you have a riding style where you'd like to downshift and keep the RPM up, then this is a great fun kit to, to ride with. If you're an aggressive rider, maybe you're coming off of a sport bike where you're used to keeping that RPM up, this is probably a, a fun build for you. So here's the kit here, it's about just a shade under $2,600 and with labor and everything all installed with mufflers and air cleaner and everything you're with tax and, and everything you're, you're probably between $4,000 and $5,000 all sudden done out the door so here's a twin cam build guys so this is on the, uh, the other bike the black and green bike so which is a 2016 street glide special which is the last year of the twin cam build so Harley Davidson nicknamed this the tire shredder kit I will say in this book, and this is the 2018 catalog, they, they call it a stage four. And you know, when I say last year or two years ago when this kit first came out, we'll say two years ago, it was actually considered a stage five. They have since changed that. And I think to keep everything uh, uniform with this stage kit and the Twin Cam stage kits and the Milwaukee 8 stage kits, they kind of reworked their offerings on the twin cam to keep everything a little bit more uniform. So this is now called a stage four. But the big deal when this first came out was the fact that you could bolt these cylinders up to the OEM cases and not have to require you to machine the cases. And so it really reduced the labor a lot. You didn't have to take the case out of the chassis anymore to get this performance build done. So of course now with the Milwaukee 8, that's all kind of implied, but back a couple of years ago when these, and, and really the, the key was they used a stronger material in the cylinder, the cylinders, cause you, ha, you go down, when you increase the bore, you go down to a thinner sidewall. And so they were able to increase the, the strength of the materials used in the cylinders. So here's some, some power charts here. So at 3000 RPM, you're doing about 105 foot pounds of torque. And you can see that's up from about 90, 91 foot pounds of torque stock and then your horsepower on this you're getting we'll call it about 104 horsepower and that's at that's achieved at about 5500 rpm uh, we will note too that that torque uh, band or, or the, the torque line there is pretty uniform throughout the the usable rpm range so it's got a really usable torque uh, power band which is what, what harley davidson is used or known for but yeah, it's, it's definitely a nice power band there. So here's the Milwaukee 8, 107 to 114. And there's two graphs here. One graph has torque and the other one has horsepower. So your horsepower, you're looking a little over 120 horsepower, 6,000 RPM. And you're looking, uh, we'll call it 114, 115 foot pounds of torque at 5,000 RPM. So really you're gonna wanna run this thing between five and 6,000 RPM if you're really trying to get the max benefit out of the available power on this bike. So this stage four kit, you again, you have to run it at a higher RPM than, than this uh, the stage four or five tire shredder kit on the twin cam. There's a couple other things that we have on the bike, the Pro Street Tuner, and it's also got the Smart Tuner as well on here. <laughs>
So these bikes are actually pretty comparably matched in a real world situation. I mean, we're not in a controlled racetrack or anything like that. We weren't certainly racing or anything, but you know, in, in everyday real world application, these bikes are pretty dang evenly matched. I felt like the 110 tire shredder kit might have been a little bit better on the low end, low RPM out of the hole type of power. Not much, but maybe a little bit. But as soon as you got into the top end, like 5,000 RPM plus, that's when the Milwaukee 8 Stage 4 really shined. And that's kind of reflected in the power graphs I went over as well. You know, once you get into the, the higher speeds, the higher RPM, that's where this Milwaukee 8 Stage 4 really took over. But, you know, a lot of the, the uh, roll-ons, we were pretty much neck and neck. And if I really tried to stay between five and 6,000 RPM, I could pull a little bit with the Milwaukee 8, but if I started you know, at 35 to 4,000 RPM and we did the roll on, David would come ahead of me. And so, you know, it's all about keeping this stage four in the Milwaukee 8 in that upper RPM range. If you're really riding for, for speed and acceleration, that's where you gotta be. Of course, in the real world, not that many people are really going to be cranking on it that hard and a lot. Uh, you're just not in that many scenarios where you have to really get in that high RPM range. But if you do find yourself in a scenario out on the open highway, it's a lot of fun just to roll it on and feel that power increase all the way to red line. Uh, whereas on the stock cam on a Harley Davidson, the, the power really starts tapering off and so it's never really worth it to rev it all the way out up into the higher rpm like 5000 rpm plus so once again if you're somebody that likes to rev it out and, and it is a ton of fun I, it's a ton of fun with the power on this bike i will say i had a blast riding it this day and you know shout out to brian thank you for letting me ride your bike but yeah it, it's a lot of fun if you find yourself out on the open highway where you can you can use that power but you know from stoplight to stoplight out on surface streets are you gonna you know pull to 5,000 rpm in first gear you know every time you go around no you know and you're not gonna want to it's just over time it's just gonna get tiresome and hard on your bike as well so yeah again it's it's all about usable power and real you know, functional application of that power and so and I've said this before so if you're a guy that really gets out on the open highway a lot, this type of a kit is a lot of fun and it does have some practicality to it. But the 110, the, the tire shredder, you've got a really nice torque curve on it and so you've got real good usable power all the way from about 3,000 to 5,000 RPM. So yeah, the power is great in the tire shredder as well. I will say too, and you know I didn't test this out this day obviously, but I've been told that at 120 miles an hour, the the governor kicks in on the Milwaukee 8, and so you cannot go above 120. Whereas on this 110 tire shredder kit, the twin cam bikes, the, there's no governor and you know, the sky's the limit as far as um, how fast you can go. I've, I've talked to people that have gotten these things up to about 140 miles an hour top speed before. So take that for what it's worth as well as far as top speed. You know, top speed, not really important for me. You know, I don't take bikes up to top speed. There's really not a whole lot of scenarios and situations where you can do that unless you live on the Autobahn or something. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching as always. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for a bunch of Harley Davidson content.